Hello everyone, today is our startup and in depth exploration into the exciting world of engineered wood products. This episode focuses on plywood and OSB as two essential building materials that have revolutionized modern construction. We begin with plywood, a popular material in building. The process starts with strong tree trunks. These trunks go through a machine called a debugger that removes the bark. After that, the logs are turned into thin, smooth veneer. First, the logs are stripped of bark and cut into thin sheets. These sheets are then dried carefully. Next, they are covered with a strong glue. After that, the glue-covered sheets are stacked and pressed together by arranging the wood grain at right angles in different layers. Plywood becomes very strong and stable. Plywood is a very useful material. It comes in many types, from top quality for making strong, beautiful furniture to simpler types used in building because it's so flexible. It's no surprise that plywood is used for many things, from making furniture to important parts of structures. After looking into plywood, let's now focus on OSB, also known as oriented strain board. Even though it's new to the engineered wood industry, OSB has quickly become popular worldwide. The creation of OSB is quite fascinating. It all begins by shredding wood into small strains. These strains are then combined with durable resins and wax. These elements are mixed together and the strings are oriented in different directions to augment the strings of the final products. When the strings are mixed with resin and wax, we apply a lot of heat and pressure. This makes the strings form into strong bolts. Because of this process, the bolts last a long time and are very strong. This is why many uh, builders like to use OSB. OSB has made a name for itself as a material of choice for shifting in walls and roofs. Its consistent strength and size make it a reliable choice for these applications. But that's not all. OSB is also making waves in the world of furniture designs with its unique look and properties lending themselves to innovative designs. Welcome to our comparative experiment featuring two materials that are popular in the construction industry, OSB board and plywood. In the following time, we will divide into their performance in fire protection, water properties in terms of absorption rate, nail holding power, dimensional accuracy and density. Let's discover together the secrets of this uh, materials and review their value for use in the construction industry. Our first test is about how will materials resist fire. We are testing two in terms phenolic OSB board and phenolic marine plywood. We'll see how they uh, react to fire, especially how fast they burn and how much smoke they make. This helps us uh, understand how these materials act in the fire and if they give enough fire protection. First, the phenolic glue OSB has been tested and it has maintained a stable structure in the flame without obvious deformation or burning. Next, the phenolic glue marine plywood was tested and the flame quickly extinguished after turning off the fire source. In general, both phenolic glue OSB and phenolic glue marine plywood are flame retardant and don't support combustion. Therefore, these two materials have certain fire protection properties and the required materials can be selected according to the actual situation. Now, we will uh, conduct the water absorption test. In, the t in this test, we will dip the phenolic glue OSB board and the phenolic glue marine plywood in water for 24 hours. Afterwards, we will measure the difference in thickness between the front and back to assess their waterproof qualities. This will show us how these materials hold up in wet conditions and if they can keep their original perf performance when wet. Let's take a look at the blister expansion rate test results of phenolic glue OSB and phenolic glue marine plywood. The test method is to first test the thickness of the OSB board and plywood before soaking in water. 
Then soak the OSB board and plywood in water for 24 hours, and then observe its expansion. As you can see, after the OSB board was soaked in water, the OSB board expanded by 1.6 mm in 24 hours, and the plywood expanded by 1.1 mm in 24 hours. OSB board expanded more in this water blister test, which means that OSB board may be affected in humid environment and require more maintenance and uh, protection. Neil grip is critical to building stability. In this test, we are going to see how well this board grip a nail when it's driving into it. This will have a huge impact on our buildings. It has a significant impact on the project because only materials with strong nail holding properties can ensure the stability of the building. First, we will test the OSB nail holding ability. When we try to drive nails into OSB, the board can develop splits and cracks. This means that the OSB has a bit poor nail holding properties for plywood test results. Unlike OSB, plywood showed better performance in nail holding tests. It is less prone to cracking, providing a stronger nail grip. In summary, the nail holding stress test result shows that plywood has better nail holding strength. Lastly, we'll compare how dense the two materials are. This test matters a lot because the denser the material, the stronger and more long-lasting it's likely to be. Let's find out which materials does best the, in the test, especially in terms of strength and durability for building materials. We measure the length, width, and thickness of OSB and plywood and then weigh them. The densities were calculated by dividing the weight by the volume. The resulting densities of the OSB plywood were 650 kg per cbm and 660 kg per cbm, respectively. This shows that the phenolic plywood with a slightly higher density might be stronger than phenolic glue OSB. After a series of tests, we now have a comprehensive understanding of the performance of OSB board and plywood. Each material has its own unique properties. Whether you are an experienced professional builder or an enthusiastic DIY enthusiast, a thorough understanding of the properties and the benefits of plywood and OSB can help you make informed decisions for your project. We hope to provide you with an in-depth look at this material and gain valuable insights today. We sincerely thank you for joining us in our exciting exploration of plywood and OSB. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more insightful content. We are excited to continue this educational journey with you. Next, see you on video.